Well, I think it's variable. You know, for example, at Beira, I know, uh, and I was thinking about it this morning, that from 2017, Beira has kept alive the whole issue of EDI, in particular anti-racism, um, on the agenda at conferences through the expansion of its SIGs, through the expansion of its program for gender, looking at anti-racism through its policy uh, within Beira and so on. So there are, those are lots of things to be celebrated. I mean, this year we are having a keynote um, on um, EDI and anti-racism. And so if you think back from 2017, as far back uh, as I can remember, um, that is about seven or eight years in a row where Beira has confronted the, 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 the issue of racism um, head on and saying, well, actually, we must keep this alive um, as a focal point for our conferences. So I think that's huge progress. So progress for black colleagues is maybe the amount of publications, um, books, uh, journal articles in, in high quality journals um, and things like awards. So the Beira Award that we started last year, the Equality Awards. Um, so we're now in our second year. So just high profile things really, um, so that race is high and it's not sort of seen as a, we're living in post-racial times because all the time, as I say, we have to start back at the beginning again. And, and, and it just seems like an endless cycle of never getting there sometimes. Again, yes, we are getting more kind of the citation of minoritized ethnic researchers, depending on where you are and who's being championed at that time. Um, I will admit that sometimes I think a lot of other black researchers might agree it can feel tokenistic at times. So even though we are seeing more of it and the championing of black researchers, more initiatives being held by universities and journals and institutions such as Bira, more can always be done. But there is more than there was 10 years ago, per se. I do think some progress has been made because it's certainly different to when I first came in. I think we now have a small but growing number of young black scholars um, who are coming into um, academia. Um, I still believe, however, they need a certain amount of nurturing and mentoring and support for them to be able to survive um, in this space. Um, I think universities, you know, are opening up scholarship programs, and I think that's immensely useful in in terms of bringing numbers on. But I also think that they need to think a bit further. You know, it's okay bringing people in to do a doctorate, but what's the plan once they've completed? So I think we need mm -hmm. to continue to think about how do we then transfer those people who've just got their doctorates into academic members of staff. In my experience, the progress is very individual. There's not a, a like an organisational um, effort to celebrate black progress in academia. What you find is that um, at conferences like Bira, we usually network, find um, researchers or academics that have done similar work or just black academics, and we usually just keep abreast of their names and their area. And when they've individuals have achieved success we just celebrate by sending an email so it's just individual it's a very individual it's not an organizational we just support each other by just saying congrats on whatever you've achieved